Hi, I am Joyce Marcellus, owner of Toxic Sweet Shop out here in Lakewood, California, and today we're going to be making some crab legs, claws, and some butter, all painted with Americolor. So let's get to cooking. Today we're going to be using fondant to create a crab leg. So we're going to start with a small amount of fondant. So we're just going to kind of work the fondant a little bit, and we're going to kind of shape it into just like an oval shape. This is what I like to call the thigh to attach to the legs, right? So we're going to kind of shape it. We're gonna grab our fondant tool and we're gonna just make little holes. We're just making little crevices or cavities to kind of give it more of a realistic look, right? And then we're gonna pinch the edges because it tends to make it more realistic. If you have it too thick, it doesn't look as real. And then we're gonna use our fondant tool to do some little line work here to give it that nice, more realistic look to it. Then what I like to do to add the added texture is I tear a piece of wafer paper and I dip it in water with a splash of green alcohol, let the excess kind of drain off, and then I apply it on here. And then what I like to do is kind of manipulate it and give it a little bit of added texture. So you can push it, you can move it around, and it'll dry just like that. Now that we've allowed our craft dye to dry, we're just gonna grab little balls of fondant that we're gonna apply right to the bottom of the actual crab. These are gonna just act like a cartilage. Doesn't have to be perfect, we're just pressing them in there. What that's gonna do, it's just gonna create that little cartilage space in between each little lake shell. For our next part, we're gonna start building our legs. We're just gonna grab our first little shell and we're gonna kinda shape it into like a ball. We wanna move all the creases to the bottom, right? And then we're going to pinch the sides because if you ever notice from crab legs, they're kind of like a really custom shape. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take our next tool and we're going to kind of make the hole here and another hole on this edge. Okay, this is kind of where you would imagine it, your crab shells connect to. So then we're gonna add it right there. Okay, so we're gonna be making three legs for our crab. And you just keep adding pieces. There's no right or wrong. If you can do longer pieces, you need shorter pieces. No crab is the same. For our final, we're gonna roll a small piece of fondant to get the little claw. And then we're gonna put it right in there. However you form it is how it's gonna dry. to add texture to our crab legs before we actually airbrush, we're gonna use royal icing to pipe little spikes. They can just be random. You can actually drop them wherever they feel fit. You can add a little extra just to make them a little bit more spikier. Or if you wanna add less and just do them on the sides, you definitely can. Once we have finished adding all the spikes that you feel nice and comfortable with, we're going to allow it to dry for five to 10 minutes while we get our Americolor ready to airbrush. We're gonna start with lemon yellow and we're gonna add just a couple drops of yellow. And then we're gonna do our primary base, which is peach. And this is gonna be about four to six drops. And then we are going to add our super red Mist airbrush color. And this, you just want a couple of drops. You don't want too much red. You can give it a slight shake, but you don't want to add, you don't really fully shake it because we want different arrays of colors coming through the airbrush. You can see some of the highlights because we didn't fully combine the colors that you see a little bit of more of a red tone, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange. And when you're airbrushing, try not to have a constant pressure. You want to kind of let it go a lot, let it breathe. You want to have splashes of colors, some darker in some areas because once it fully dries, it's gonna really have the dimensions and give it more of an actual 3D look to the crab leg, more than it already is. In between each space, I tend to add a little bit more of a highlight and more of a color, so it shows a little bit of that breaking point. So once I get a nice color, I like to remove the paper towel and get some of the bottom just to make sure it doesn't stay too white. You want it to have a little bit of that, you know, peach and super red and lemon yellow kind of coming through the bottom so it actually looks like it's one piece. Once you have airbrushed your crab legs and you've touched up the bottom of the crab, we're going to be adding bright white to the crab thigh and in between each little crevice and some of the spikes as well as just little added details. Okay, so we're gonna add a couple of drops. 
for the top you want to do a makeup sponge because we don't really want it to be like one solid color so we're gonna dab it to just give it some white highlights Of course you can't have crab legs without some butter so I melted down some gelatin and we're gonna color it with egg yellow and bright white you want to add very little because it is in liquid form so the colors will be very potent so you want to add little by little you don't want to over saturate this because it's gonna pick up very quickly the color bright white is gonna help solidify the color and make it more of a rich buttery color so again you're gonna add it a little drops and then you're going to mix it in 